The fuel rods kept coal in the storage pools on the top floor of each of the three reactors. Is there another three reactors that I don't know about? Is there something that I'm missing here? Look, that's unit one. That's the top floor. Where's the fuel pool? And why are they telling you that? How come she can't show you a picture and say, look, in that, in that top floor right there, or better yet, why don't she come out and show you a picture of Unit 3 and say, in the top floor of that building, but she told you that in the headline, but she didn't show you a picture. And what she did show you was a picture of Unit 1 with a sarcophagus. Well, it's a Kevlar containment unit that meant to direct the emissions out that chimney stack. See that big stack right there? Well, that's piped into that building. So they got a Kevlar unit around it. But inside of it, there's no top floor. There's no top floor. And so what the hell is Mary talking about? And so AP has 1,800, right? AP has is on the stock market, right? And they have 1,800 medias. And these medias all take AP's headline and, an, and a bot, and they post it on their site. So everybody reads that same headline. Everybody sees that same picture of the Kevlar Terps. That's because there's no investigative journalism anymore. No, right, right. Rush. There's no investigative journalism. And, but that's the point. That's the problem. That's the issue. And, and we can't have a debate. And they're claiming that, oh, they're going to take the spent fuel pulls out of the top floor. So why wouldn't you want to slap that in the mouth if you ran across it? Can you imagine me being on, on a stage with that person sat alongside of me and saying, well, all, all the spent fuel pools data are kept in the top floor. Whack. Dana goes to jail, hitting a girl, of all things. The 24-hour live stream is coming up on the 16th, and that's to bring awareness to Fukushima and the Expedition for Life and its research. And we want a nuclear scientist, or a nuclear proctologist, if you can find one, to come out and debunk me. We want a nuclear scientist to come out and explain why Dana is making simple mistakes and drawing terrible conclusions and like Roger said, if you go to the buildings and you get on the right ang angle, you can see the fuel pools. Right? Yeah, but I these pictures... I never said that. Was that you come up with the idea? Oh, that was somebody else on the internet, right? That was a random guy, I think it was. I can't remember now. But like, it, are the spent fuel pool? Do you see a spent fuel pool on the top floor of that building? And you say, well, Dana, where's the top floor to? And I say, yeah, no kidding. So a journalist... The Welcome back, folks. Connecting Dots here, a.k.a. Silver Girl Man. Okay, you heard it from the horse's mouth. Uh, he, would, he would hit a woman because she does not agree with that, with his perception. And, and I mean, I'm about to show you here, very quickly in this very short video, how this guy is absolutely, either he's out to lunch and doesn't do proper research, or he's willing to hit women because he's absolutely wrong. I mean, yeah, a loose cannon, unbelievable. Just hold on a second here, let me get this page loaded. Okay, so this is him. This is the video that you just saw, or a small portion of it. Uh, he's announcing here that on June 16th, he'll be beginning this 24-hour Fukushima live stream nuclear marathon. And I've been saying for a long time, stay away from this fraud artist. I'm actually going up to Beautiful Girl by Dana's Sunshine Coast along his shoreline here on the west coast of uh, British Columbia to Powell River, to film some of the sea life right on a shoreline to show folks that he's absolutely lying. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm holding the same 24-hour live stream. I'm not sure you heard of it, but yeah, I'll be speaking about Fukushima. And one of the things I'm going to be doing is debunking Dana because, um, well, there's not a lot of people here on YouTube who have been doing these Fukushima videos, and I have a lot of information that I've been gathering for a long time uh, I've been making the the Fukushima videos uh, since day one and I have loads of bookmarks and just tons of information so anything you see here that you want to talk about the uh, Fukushima stones uh, tsunami stones whatever reactor 3 I mean I got loads of stuff and you know I know all of his hoaxes to be honest with you uh, and I'm ready for his stuff. So one of the big things he likes to fool people is this reactor for. And I have a load of pictures. And again, he won't talk about strontium-90, but that's one of the things you'll be hearing about this 24-hour live stream that I'll be holding on the exact same date. So let's jump right in here because I'm limited on time, only a 10-minute with this uh, bandy cam uh, 
program I'm running right now. So the type of reactor that he's looking at, that we were looking at, I should say, at Fukushima is the Mark 1. Okay, Mark 1 GE fuel reactor. Here's a bunch of pictures here, folks. I'm not going to make this very long. And I realize, you know, there's a lot of you that have been following my Fukushima video since, well, <sighs> March 2011 when the whole thing went down but basically um, what's important is that there's in increasing disinformation on YouTube and it, I've done a great job of, of presenting good straightforward facts and I know to some of you this is boring so I understand if you just move along and don't watch the video I totally get it at least give it a thumbs up and, uh, and if not well let's sit back through this painful edition again so if you haven't noticed yet this these are the f spent fuel pools right here this is the top floor okay um, in his picture he's trying to tell you lead you to believe that there was a floor in here and it's all gone no in fact you may notice this large beam running through the center here of these um, top blown out walls that's because that's where this mechanical device would go back and forth to pick up the spent uh, the fuel pools and drop them in the other one and uh, anyways this is very uh, <clears throat> basic and it's not very tough so 26 is the overhead crane that ran back and forth on the building number 27 shows where the spent fuel pools were located where they are located in all three reactors four reactors here's a beautiful colored picture that I pull out of the mark one reactor again it shows you where the spent fuel pool is sitting and uh, here's another one I have a lot of pictures so um, and I'm not going to show them all here again I'm just doing a quick rundown just to show you that he's not going to show you this stuff because he doesn't want people to know that oh yeah you know what the building can be blown out the way it is because these were only the side walls where that crane was located because what matters is as long as the, pu the fuel pools are there and I'm not sure if you noticed but in one of his pictures he shows it um, smoking where was it right mm. Hold on a second, just give me one second. I know it's a bit pain in the ass to a lot of you folks, but... Okay, so this is the one I'm talking right, uh, where the, the side walls here, they're all blown out. So this is the top floor right here. And there's another picture he likes to show where there's... A, oh, right there. Okay, so right here, again, uh, the two uh, top uh, areas where, the, where it's just the walls here, there's no floors. This is the top floor. And as you can see, the steam coming out. So yeah, they lost water. They, the, the rods got hot, but uh, definitely did not 100% evaporation or escape. So these are other pictures that he does not want to show you because this is where the gong show ends for him. And those of you that were doubting me are like, ha, ha. Oh, 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 the son of a... <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is why Dana and the Hounds have done a great job of coming over and harassing me because when people get a look at, see the pictures that I have, they're like, oh, that son of a... <laughs> so, yeah, if, you, if you've given money to the guy, um, what can I say? You got suckered in. So the, the pools are there. There's no doubt about it. There's a top of the reactor. I mean... Um, I'm not going to go every over every picture. Um, I'm definitely going to go over this new structure that they built. It's another one that uh, he just does not want to show people because when they realize that, um, you know, after seeing the pictures that I just showed, how they tore off these two side walls and they're bringing in this um, new structure, not putting any weight on it, which is something he's mentioned. You know, there's no weight put on this building because there had suffered a massive explosion inside. And the walls were all blown out. And the structure, the rebar was intact, but they didn't want to take it because there was a crack along the side. So they built this new structure so they could run the crane and take the fuel out. So these are pictures that Dana doesn't want to see. I have to end the video here. You'll have to come and join me here at Silver Gold Man, okay? Not Connecting Dots 2. These live hangouts are taking place June 16 at the Silver Gold Man 24-hour marathon of truth. Truth news. Take care, folks, and stay away from this fraudster. Yeah, he's out looking for more donations. Son of a beehive. Can you believe it? <laughs> You're not looking from the right angle, Dane. I got to move your head over a little bit, and you can see the fuel pool. It'll show up. It's a hologram pool. <laughs>